So the inflation numbers come in yesterday, a combination of as expected and fractionally higher than expected. And inflation might be sticky, it might not be coming down as fast as the Fed wants to, to meet their 2% goal here. And as a reaction, right, the Fed might have to keep rates higher for longer. And what's the obvious reaction by any rational person out there in the market? Ooh, uh, stocks are down a tiny bit, buy, buy, buy. Ooh, uh, CNBC says buy everything. Oh, buy mega cap tech stocks. Oh my gosh, um, sell your spleen to buy stocks. It, insane, totally insane. This is not investment advice. If you need advice, call your mother. Hey, I get it why you think we're already four months into the new bull market. The treasury rates keep rising. Oh wait, that's bad. Nothing screams new bull market like a highly inverted 10 year, two year treasury rate. Oh, but wait, a highly inverted 10-year, three-month treasury inversion must scream new bull market. Never once in history. Okay, it must be a Q4 2022 estimated S&P 500 earnings growth rate of negative 4.9 that has your spirits up. Maybe like the X energy growth rate of negative 9%. That always makes me go all in on the stock market. I took the hedge off my short positions yesterday, so I will again start today about 87% cash and about 13% short because my short-term research continues to tell me that I am short-term bearish. Best of luck to the CNBC Wall Street Bets Reddit crowd today.